Very good morning and uh, welcome to Yang Berbahagia, Tan Sri Dr. Asia Habusama was our uh, former chairman of the uh, Board of Governors of the school uh, and currently the Pro-Chancellor of University of Malaysia, Kelantan. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Tan Sri. Uh, Mr. Lau Gaitek, the Managing Director of Land and General Berhad, the parent company of uh, the holding company of the school. Welcome. Today is historic uh, event happening in the school. Uh, it has been 25 years since the school uh, was established. And uh, Tan Sri, we all know, has been instrumental in the setup of the school in 1995-1996. Uh, it was humble beginnings then, and uh, it is 25 years on. We'd like to ask Tan Sri and uh, maybe even Mr. Lau to uh, chip in. Uh, what was the inspiration to the setting up of Sri Bistari uh, School? Thank you, Dr. Stephen. And uh, before I go further, may I wish you my heartiest congratulations on keeping the school going. The flag is flying very high and uh, we are already 25 years old. Alhamdulillah. I was persuaded to join uh, Land and General Barhad soon after I retired in early 1993. Somehow, uh, Tansri Azmi, the then chairman of uh, Land and General, or LNG, managed to hunt me down. <laughs> and uh, I, I had to see him twice before I decided to join. And uh, one of the first missions I had to go on was to plan for a school for the for Sri Damansara. You see, at that time, there was no school, not even one government school yet. Although LNG had set aside 10 locations, because uh, there is a stipulation that for so many um, residents in an area, there has to be a school. So, uh, <clears throat> so the, the suggestion was, let's, let's take one of the locations. So, uh, I had, we had to do some negotiation uh, with the Ministry of Education and with the State Education Department of Selangor because uh, this area, Sri, Sri Damansara, is in Selangor. Uh, the rationale for the school, and of course because there was no school yet, and also the, with the company's motto or objective of um, doing good for the community, thank the community for uh, coming to live in Sri Damansara. So, we started planning immediately, as usual, you know, being in the private sector, both the chairman and uh, the managing director at that time, Dato Amdul Karim, and they started building sometime in, I can't remember, like end of 1994. It was, I think the school was ready within one year. Wow. Uh, wow. But it was not ready because, um, at that time, because of the floods and so on at the, at the end and beginning of every year, uh, the ministry had changed the, the school going schedule. So school starts in December, school started in December. So we decided to start in December 1995. Uh, the school was completed only towards the middle of uh, 1996 and we moved sometime in the middle of 1996. Okay. Do you feel the nostalgic uh, moment? Oh, very. Very, very. Yeah? I mean, it, it doesn't seem like 25 years or so now. Uh, I mean, I felt we, we celebrated the 10th year. I remember okay. we invited the Director General of Education mm -hmm. to come and uh, officiate. Mm -hmm. I felt that was just few years ago. Wow. That was 15 years ago. How time flies, mm. Tan Sri. How time flies. Thank you, Tan Sri, for sharing the beginning 
of uh, the journey of Sri Vistari uh, Private School or then known as Sekolah Sri Vistari and it has journeyed and it is 25 years. Uh, to, to a question maybe uh, to tap uh, Mr Lau's uh, feedback, uh, could Land in general have phantom 25 years on, Sri Bistari would be such a prominent uh, premier private school uh, in the education uh, sphere in uh, Malaysia. And what more can we achieve? What uh, Are there future plans that we want to expand further? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stephen. Very good morning, uh, Tan Sri Asia. And uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate the team you know, for having this uh, uh, occasion to celebrate our 25th uh, anniversary. Now, um, to the question of whether the company has phantom, whether we are able to achieve, you know, uh, then when the school first formed 25 years ago. Now, for education, when you talk about the school being there for 25 years, it's a long time, but as far as education is concerned, I think there are many schools around the world who are a few centuries old, yeah. you know. So I certainly believe and we hope that you know the school will continue to try for the next at least 250 years mm -hmm. because um, when you talk about school in KL, I'm sure Tan Sri, we do have got some very old schools in oh, okay. Klang Valley as well. Plus. Okay, and um, to achieve this milestone, a lot of uh, credit has to be given to the team, principal, teachers. You know, uh, over the years, I think we have here some of our head of schools who has been with the uh, the Starry School for a good 15 or 18 years as well. Yeah. Now, um, the school started like what Tan Sri mentioned in the uh, early days as a means to serve the local community. Okay, over the years, uh, no doubt it has advanced to be a premium private school. And because of demand, I will deviate slightly. Over the last four years, we have also formed the international school because of uh, a lot of requests from parents who has been asking us way back 10 years ago, why don't we branch out to, to form an international school? And that's where I think uh, the company took it seriously and Sri Bestari International School was uh, officially launched uh, four years ago. Thank you, Mr. Long. Because you have mentioned that many of the pioneer teachers are still with the school. And I just want to uh, 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 pick uh, Tan Sri's uh, feedback and mind on this. There's an adage in the school that says that once a Bistarian, always a Bistarian. Uh, who coined this and how was it coined? Because many of the ex-staff and students actually feel it, you know. I don't know, was it? But... It didn't come from the board, I think, when I was chairman of the board. It must have come from the staff or the students themselves. There's a lot of truth in that statement, to my mind, because I think uh, from the interest uh, shown in the progress of the school by the teachers, even though they have migrated elsewhere, and by the board members, me as an example, or by the students. Yeah? I think you have got quite a strong alumni of the yes. school. And uh, I noticed some members of the alumni, some of your, your old boys and old girls are doing very well. In That's, that's one thing I want, I, I want to emphasize. Right from the very beginning, we decided that we will not be an elitist school as far as uh, academics are concerned. We we'll go for the total development of the child. Hence the adage, uh, nobody is left unattended. Yeah. No child escapes our uh, attention. No, no child escapes our attention. That, that, again, that is still strong in the process of running of the school. And it has developed that way. I think. In that sense, to me, Scholar Sri Bistari stands out compared to other schools. A, a lot of other private schools I know go for elitism. But uh, I noticed that uh, 
I, I can't say about it. Of course, I, I know some students from some private schools are doing very well too. But our students have really had an all-rounded education. We, we have managed to develop all sides of their personality, which is, which is very much in tune with the philosophy of national education, that we are developing uh, a total person, you know, rather than just a academic ability of the person. So our, our students, I notice, when they go for higher education, when they go into the working world, they are very good social beings. They contribute to the, to the company or to the institution that they, are, they work in. And uh, they are very confident. I'm sure you're very proud of it, Tan Sri. Oh yes, I, I do. Yeah. I feel it. Because it was an agenda that was set for, for the exactly. school. Exactly. And 25 exactly. years on, the agenda is still yes. alive. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I tell some of my... I like to brag a bit uh, to some <laughs> of my former colleagues uh, who used to be with me in the Ministry of Education. Uh, of course, Datuk Shreva Maimuna included. And uh, we managed to to pull her in, <laughs> into the board, and now I'm very happy that she is the chairman of the board. Kolasri Bestari symbolizes the philosophy of our, our national philosophy of education. Okay. Thank you, Tan Sri. Since Tan Sri had mentioned uh, Dato Dr. Sharifa, perhaps we will take a moment to invite uh, Dato Dr. Sharifa to say a few words and share her thoughts on this 25th anniversary and the direction of the school. Uh, incidentally, Dato Dr. Sharifa is the chairman of the uh, current board of governors of uh, Sri Bistari Private School. Actually, I'm very proud that the school has reached 25 years because which means that the school is able to overcome many of the challenges it has faced from the time it began as a school up to now. As you know, uh, there is a very big expansion in private education and there's a lot of competition with other schools. But I'm happy to see that the school has managed uh, to survive this stiff competition. Sekolah ni dia dapat menepati kehendak keperluan-keperluan masa kini dan juga masa depan. Dan saya tengok sekolah ni dia ada polisi untuk memberi pendidikan kepada semua. Jadi dia tidak membezakan siapa yang patut masuk dan tidak. Dan satu saya rasa achievement yang saya lihat amat membanggakan di samping kejayaan akademik dan juga kejayaan kurikulum ialah dengan adanya kelas-kelas uh, uh, pendidikan khas yang dapat menempatkan kanak-kanak yang berkeperluan khas. Dan ini adalah satu bidang pendidikan yang saya rasa tidak diberi keutamaan lah di banyak pihak. Pencerahan pelajaran memang kan ada juga sekolah, -sekolah dia tapi bagi some parents, they would like the, the children uh, to be near where the houses are because for the pressure classes, for the government school, not every school offers that. And Sri Bestari offers that. So it gives the opportunity for parents who live nearby to have their children educated specifically for their needs. I think that's a very good move by the school. I'm the chairman of the school governing board since 2018, but before that I was a member of the board of governors. So in that sense, I do have a chance to suggest programs, to give my suggestions so that the school can be outstanding. Because when a school is outstanding, then you can attract parents to come. Because the school already has a policy to give the best. And I think being a member of the governing board gives me the opportunity to give some suggestions based on my experience because I was in education before and also from my interaction with other educators both local and abroad.